what is the real story of Xinjiang? I think the people of all ethnic groups in Xinjiang are best positioned to answer this question. The human rights in Xinjiang cannot be defined by a few satellite images, fake reports cobbled together by people thousands of miles away, or the performance by anti-China actors or actresses. This is unfair to 25 million people living in the region, and also unfair to all the 1.4 billion Chinese people. How is life in Xinjiang? The answer to this question is, first of all, the people living in the region should have a say. And secondly, seeing is believing. Today, we are delighted to have with us representatives from different sectors in Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. They will tell us about Xinjiang, share their personal experience and feelings, and answer the question of interest to participants of today's event. I am sure this will be helpful in fostering a comprehensive, objective, and accurate understanding of the real Xinjiang. For some time, certain forces bending on containment of China have fabricated a large amount of lies of the century about Xinjiang and used these lies to demonize China and interfere in China's internal affairs in order to serve their political agenda. Some countries, including the UK, even proposed the so-called sanction against China. We strongly oppose and reject this. China does not stir up trouble, but China is not afraid when others do. China never provokes confrontation with anyone, but if anyone bends on confrontation with China, we are ready to keep them company. China has been focusing on development at home and minding our own business. We have always put the people front and center, making every effort to improve people's life in all aspects and safeguard people's rights and interests. Independent surveys by institutions in the United States and Singapore show that over 90% of the Chinese people support the Chinese government under the leadership of the Communist Party of China.